So how does this end? In USA, we have the first general chaos with half of the army for Trump, as well as a lot of the 50 American states. Now Trump is linked to Putin, and Ukraine has received the umpteenth payload of 24 nuclear warheads from Biden, which has upset Putin a lot, in his own words. Now, if they were to launch these nuclear warheads in four minutes or right, in just four minutes, they would hit Moscow. So what is Putin planning right in these days? Gone with the next picture, he is planning to enter Ukraine with a large number of soldiers in order to quell this situation, to give this little blow, so to speak. Precisely to avoid what could be the first strike, because it's not a missile like we all know, but it's a nuclear missile. So I don't want to say it would be a disaster, but well, it would be the last straw which could break the planet's back. Now, I'm not saying, oh, poor Russia, which is suffering all of this, right, Alberto? I leave you the word. That's right. Well, later I will read you a few messages. So, yeah, there will be a severe energy crisis. I'll confirm that. For example, right now I filled up my car, which runs on methane. I have paid 25 euros, while I used to pay half of it just a month ago. However, there will be a very severe inflation of basic necessities, even food. So I say all the time, prepare yourselves. Two years ago, I had already talked about it after reading a few Marian messages. There will not be only an energy crisis, but also a blackout. Let me open this short parenthesis about it. First of all, very recently, the Austrian defense minister has said there is a risk that Europe is going to face a severe blackout. In fact, a few days ago, there's been a very light blackout in Germany. I can confirm that because once I talked with my friend Silvia Di Bello, who can see the angels, I think I've already told you about her. In 2015, right after I converted, so I didn't know almost anything back then, well, she told me that a severe blackout would have occurred and I asked her, are you talking about the, the three days of darkness? And she replied, no, no, just a very severe power outage. Then regarding to Putin's threats, yeah, I know that he said, if Ukraine joins NATO, we will take up arms. Then very recently he also said, the war we will face against Ukraine is a patriotic war because we will wage war against its fake friends. So he reiterates the USA and Europe topic. However, what I always used to put the stress on is not just the first strike matter, which is a material matter, because there is also the spiritual matter. For example, in previous meetings, I have read a few Marian messages, and I have said that the Russian army will enter and destroy churches, will also enter the houses of Christians, and will prevent the celebration of the Eucharist. Why? First of all, the Eucharist is the catacomb. It's one of the forces which holds the Antichrist back. Someone could tell me, well, now, how is the Eucharist so important? Well, I'll give you an example. Father Emilien Tardif was a Canadian priest. During a Mass in Lyon, France, he started to consecrate the Eucharist. There was a woman on a wheelchair totally paralyzed for eight years. In the very moment he started consecrating the Eucharist, the, this woman felt a heat in his legs, a tingling sensation, and then she stood up. So what is this energy that we summon during the Eucharistic celebration? It's a light, it's the light of Christ which dispels the darkness, and Satan does not want this light. However, as we all know, the Antichrist works on a subtle level too. For example, we have seen the gate of hell opened on October 15th at the same time as that green thingy that we all know. It was opened on Friday. In ancient Rome, on Fridays, they used to make sacrifices 
in honor of entities of low level, of course. Moreover, Friday comes from Frigga, which is the Nordic equivalent of Venus. Venus is also a planet whose name is also Lucifer, bearer of light, Lucifer Illuminati. The Venus, Venus cycle takes eight years. Just try and Google Venus cycle and you'll see that it takes eight years. Now, we should look at a very few significant dates. For example, the attack on Tokyo subway system, March 20th, 1995. First of all, March 20th is the spring equinox and in ancient times, in the spring equinox, human sacrifices are used to take place. Now fast forward 8 years, where will we get to? March 20th, 2003. Try and see what happened on March 20th, 2003, the war in Iraq. Once again, fast forward 8 years, the Venus cycle, March 20th, 2011, the war in Libya, alright? I have not mentioned a few dates at random. He works on a subtle level. So, regarding to the war which is going to take place among Russia, USA and Europe, we shouldn't consider only its material aspect. Now I'm going to read you a few messages. Carbonia 2013. Satan is ruling over all the countries and soon you will see the greatest disaster happening. That is World War III. What did Our Lady say in Fatima? Satan will have the powerful in his possession and will determine the course of events. Who is Satan now? That's the Antichrist. We are living the time which anticipates the second coming of Jesus. It is written in Thessalonians that before the second coming of Christ, the son of perdition will manifest himself. The Antichrist wants this war to break out and wants the very Russia, China and their allies to win this war because he must destroy the church. What is annoying the Antichrist, as I have said earlier, is the Eucharist. Moreover, what else in the church is annoying him? The Christian Gospel. If people were to read the Gospel and meditate upon it, they would understand the way the Antichrist is working in present times and they would then recognize the Antichrist during his manifestation. But there are also other reasons which drive him to have the communist army win. You got the video that I sent you? Yes, we got the video related to North Korea, yes. Your turn, Alberto. Here I am. I will read you right away a few messages related to this footage. Luz de Maria, Argentina, 2014. My beloved ones, you have given communism power because you thought it was a harmless ideology. This terrible evil has already grown up 
Now it's a fierce dragon which rules over men, bringing suffering to the innocent ones. Carbonia 2014, pay attention. The usurper, which is the Antichrist, will come in with much fanfare by the people, and he will be celebrated. So think about the video we have just seen, we'll get to it shortly, and recognized as the Messiah. Virgin Mary appeared in Fatima in 1917. We all know the famous miracle of the sun. Right after that, the October Revolution began. Communism took power, causing millions and millions of deaths and it declared war and persecution to the Church. So the communist ideology has spread. We consider it harmless, but let's say we should not underestimate it. This ideology is the cult of personality. Let me explain. In 1929, Soviet press described Stalin as an all might and all-knowing figure like a small deity. Now, that's the cult of personality. During World War II, Kim Il-sung fought for communist resistance in Eastern Russia, and his mission was to defend Korea from Japan. Then Japan was nuked and destroyed by USA, as we all know, Kim Il-sung came back to Korea, bringing along with him the cult of personality, which Stalin taught him, so to speak. In 1955, Kim Il-sung became the supreme leader, therefore the dictator of North Korea. Whatever he said had to be done. Then his son, Kim Jong-il, rose to power. In the video we have just seen, these people, North Koreans, they were kneeling, worshipping his statue and crying in front of it. A statue built by Kim Jong-il in honor of his father. And they used to call him the eternal president, just like a small deity which has come on earth. What happened later? After Kim Jong-il, the present dictator rose to power, that is, Kim Jong-un. As you have just seen, when he rose to power, they were cheering and crying tears of happiness. Now, this is just a question of mine. Do they really love him so much, or is it a kind of constructed feeling? We need to consider that, during Kim Jong-il's dictatorship, a terrible famine broke out and also lots of children died. Meanwhile, he was using money to make weapons and he was eating for free at the back of his own people. Moreover, right now in North Korea, I'll give you just an example because I could give you many more, the army and the cops unexpectedly break into their houses in order to check out their own TV. In case they receive foreign TV channels from other countries. Why so? Because there must be only one culture in North Korea. There is only one party. There is only one party and not even the gospel can go in. I mean within the boundary of North Korea there can be no gospel. You cannot preach the words of Jesus Christ because there cannot be any entity superior to their president. Yes, let's remember that the 2010 FIFA World Cup they didn't show almost any match of their own national football team. Although they qualified for the second time after 44 years, they only showed the first half against Brazil and then they shut down everything. That's insane. Exactly. So, there must not be any entity superior to their president. So, let's recap. North Korea. A single party, 
only one culture, a single culture, a single government whose head is the president, which is the ultimate dictator, considered like a small messiah. This background comes from Stalin's communist ideology. Now, let's talk a little about the Antichrist. Where there is the Antichrist, as we all know, we will see a single party, a single culture, a single government, the famous one world government. He will be at the head of this one world government as Messiah. I just read it in the previous message. So obviously the Antichrist needs a background similar to that of North Korea. And I'll tell you once again, this background in North Korea comes right from Stalin's communist ideology. So Satan will have the powerful in his possession and will determine the course of events. So Satan wants this war to break out, then this war to be won by the communist army and its allies, because he needs this dictatorship, this culture, this communist ideology.